Space High Intergalactic Weather Watch. All right, settle down. Hey, where's Quark? Must have missed the space bus. Not again. OK, today we're going to check out some different types of space weather. Let's remind ourselves about where a lot of it comes from. Buckle up and sunglasses on. Whoa! This is the Earth's sun. It's constantly sending waves of energy to the planets in its solar system. And a good thing it does. Life on Earth would be impossible without the light, heat and energy it provides. In fact, this energy is so strong that if it wasn't for the magnetic field around Earth, it would be harmful. So does the magnetic field act like a shield? Man, that's bright. Pretty much. All this movement of energy is called a solar wind. Now, if I just tweak these filters, there, you can see it for yourself. Normally, solar winds are invisible, although there's one way you can see them. Near the Earth's poles, the energetic particles react with oxygen in the atmosphere and create things called aurora beautiful rippling coloured waves in the sky. That's so pretty! Solar winds travel at different speeds depending on where they originated on the sun. Winds from the top and bottom travel much faster than those from the middle. The really, really fast winds are known as high-speed solar wind streams. Luckily, they usually blast up or down and not towards planet Earth. Which is probably a good thing because that's one kind of wind you wouldn't want to get caught in. <laughs> OK, settle down. Now, as we've seen, the sun is a big, bubbling, moving mass of gases and plasma. And every now and then, there's a solar flare. And if I'm right, three, two, one. Hold on tight. A solar flare is an outburst of radiation and energetic gases. They are pretty common, almost daily occurrences, and don't have much impact on life on Earth. Sometimes these flares can affect things like satellite navigation systems, but generally their impact is small. However, sometimes things get a little more dramatic. Yeah, you're gonna need to tighten those seatbelts. That's a coronal mass ejection. It's a high-speed burst of denser material that's ejected when the magnetic fields in the sun's atmosphere become unstable. This makes the solar wind turbocharged as it races through the solar system. Coronal mass ejections are so strong that they can break through the Earth's magnetosphere, creating magnetic storms. And that's when the Earth's magnetic field is disrupted. And as a result, electric currents become intensified and anything that relies on electricity or magnets can all be disrupted. These magnetic storms also heat the upper atmosphere, which can affect radio transmissions. And that means wireless technologies such as satellite navigation, wireless internet and mobile telephones. Oh no! How will we cope without mobile phone and Wi-Fi? OK, most coronal mass ejections don't affect things too badly, but a really large one can. The largest ever recorded space weather event was in September 1859. It's known as the Carrington event, after a British astronomer who observed the solar flare. It caused auroras to be seen over the Caribbean. Wow, that must have looked amazing! Although you shouldn't look at the sun directly. That's right, Stats. You can damage your eyes and blind yourself. Ah, 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 sorry I'm late. Where have you been? I missed the bus, and then there was a supernova, so we had to wait for ages to take a detour via the large Magellanic cloud. <laughs> Typical! Well, supernovas have something to do with space weather too. Some solar winds which reach Earth don't come from the sun. Check out these galactic cosmic rays. Supernovae are large explosions which occur when stars collapse. They send electrically charged particles far into space, again interfering with electrical equipment they come across. I'll kick the filters on and you can see for yourself. We'll be back in Earth's orbit in no time thanks to this solar wind. Luckily, really big events are rare and next lesson we'll look at how scientists predict space weather. And I predict that it's the end of the lesson. Class dismissed. Deep Space High Intergalactic Weather Watch with support from the Science and Technology Facilities Council. Find out more at funkislive.com/space.